which but, I have got but, but when you to, uh, your office told me that you need information. I came straight away from the Nehru Stadium to this. I where appreciate the it. Event was going on, and 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 I have collected this because the staff is not there. So I will get more information. I will come back to you. But I am telling you, the procedure has been followed. Everything is perfect. Uh, uh, we will show you the more paper. You send me the uh, papers which are available with you. We will reply each line, each para, every page. I appreciate. Thank you. I appreciate. Thank you, Mr. Banot. Thank you very much for taking those questions tonight on the news hour. Let's get reactions from Pradeep Magazine first. Uh, Vijay Goel, also you heard all that. Pradeep Magazine, uh, let me hear you first. What do you think? Uh, well, I don't know why. I think it's quite brave of uh, the man to come and answer uh, these allegations. And on the face of it, well, he, all he is saying is that yes, they did uh, take RBI clearance to transfer that money. And obviously, they, if, if such large sums are being transferred through bank accounts, it can't be done fraudulently. So fine, they ha the point to be asked is, or as you are asking him, or all, as your letters are saying that, was there proper contract for what this money is being paid, what tendering done and I think what the British authorities are questions they are raising is, the question they are raising is that yes all these deals have taken place but for what? They are not clear, they must have questioned uh, Patel and from Patel's questioning they have come to the conclusion that yeah. have, there is not, there yeah. are no proper papers yeah. for which this money is being coming here. Yeah. So why should they give VAT no. exemption? That's the question they are raising, no, that I, what for should we give VAT exemption? No. Because they have not found anything which is uh, for what this uh, whole equipment or what has been no, brought, what know, has been sold is not there. Now it's for the Commonwealth Games Organizing I, Committee to answer the investigators that yeah, I, 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 why I, they have done this I, deal. Uh, their deal is proper. If their deal is proper, fine. No. But the questions which the investigating authorities have raised is that it appears to them no. that it's not a proper deal. No. No, but you know, I got an SMS uh, from someone, Sohail, uh, who says tomorrow, ironically, for a large number of honest Indians, is the last day to be filing income tax returns. It pinches people to hear. <laughs> the same taxpayer who pays tomorrow's income tax returns by tomorrow has to watch a situation where we are told on national television, we don't know who is this person where the money went. We'll only tell you no money laundering. We never even use the word money laundering. We simply said, this are, these are the papers. Listen, why? <coughs> But tell me, why are you making such a big deal? What do you Every mean, person who we identify who's like this is actually not Ash Patel or Ashwani Kumar or whatever. He is Mr. India, invisible. He will only surface to collect the money from an Indian organization and then disappear again. Now look at the man's talent. I think Times Now must salute Ash Patel's talent. He can provide makeshift toilets, cars, videos. He can even make the toilets mobile, the videos mobile. But now on a serious note, I think it is bizarre and abysmal that these things recur and they recur with grave frequency and we as a country look stupid. There is no action. Lalit Banaut, as Pradeep Magazine said, was brave. We're not looking for bravery. We're looking for accountability. Yeah, we don't want brave it. people. We want people who can be locked up if they've broken the law. Yep. But the tragedy is, if you have an A Raja in the union cabinet, who are you to talk about A Patel? Yeah. So that's the difference. We have come to a culture where corruption is part of the accepted DNA. Yeah. Until that changes, A. Patel is only the malaise. I, He's not the solution yeah, I, or the I, disease. I, I wonder, now, Navika had some very specific points there to those questions and we lost the line with her in between. But I don't know if you got specific answers. I could only hear Mr. Banod repeating himself over and over and over again. But she, I think, Navika, you could hear. Yeah, some tiring of the hell out of us. Yeah. Uh, well, or not, but Mr. Bhanot uh, simply kept saying that there was no uh, question of paying 25,000 pounds per month. Uh, wonder why the Indian High Commission here, which had a visit from the officials uh, of the Revenue and Customs uh, Department of the UK government, as well as the UK government's uh, own uh, uh, Customs and Revenue Department, they talk about payment uh, 
every month of 25,000 pounds for costume designing. And as Mr. Suhail said, said uh, Mr. Ashish Patel has uh, even greater versatility than he thought. It's not just toilets, uh, uh, portable <laughs> toilets and portable video equipment. It's also costume designing that he's been doing uh, for uh, the Commonwealth but he's Games. Talented. I wonder if he's still designing costumes uh, yeah. with just oui. uh, uh, 60 oui. days left for the Games yes, uh, yes. ready to begin. I, the point here being is that these allegations have not been disappear. made by Times now. They've been made by the Revenue and Customs uh, Department of UK and they have been endorsed and sent by the Indian High Commission to get answers from the Indian government here uh, in, in New Delhi, written to the Sports Secretary, yeah. written yeah. Uh, to uh, the Ministry of External yeah. Affairs. And <laughs> these are questions, Mr. Lalit Kanod, just Absolutely. Answer. This is the bizarre situation. The incredible Mr. Ashish Patel, a country of one billion people, finds it's one man Ashish Patel. Indian. So whether you want makeshift toilets, it's Ashish Patel. Indian. I make shifts toilets without it's tender Ashish Patel. Indian. You want cars in London, right. Ashish Patel. You want video equipment, you Ashish Patel. You want the Patel. Queen to come for the battle? If, yeah. you, if you want costumes designed, Ashish Patel. Who is Ashish Patel? We don't know Ashish Patel. Ashish Patel is not Mr. talking to India. us. This is incredible. Uh, last, last quick word from Vijay Goel. We are getting a lot of responses from our viewers tonight. Let me put one thing out loud and clear before I go to Mr. Goel. Sure. We are not even putting any accusations out here on Times now. It's Mr. It's Mr. Lalit Banot who chose to say no money laundering. We haven't even used the word money laundering. All we have done, we are not even calling it a scam. We are saying it's the money trail. It's the documents which we have dug out, which we put out on the air tonight. Now somebody else needs to do the investigation. Mr. Vijay Goel, can, can the investigation happen without this getting political? Mr. Vijay Goel, can the investigation happen without it becoming political? But I think they have spent about uh, more than 11 crore rupees in Queen Baton Relay. What I can say is all is not well with the organizing committee. <laughs> there are so many irregularities and so many scandals in the Commonwealth Games, conducting of the Games, it is one of them. So I demand a thorough probe into this. Right. Rupinder, quick last word from you. You've okay. spoken very little and you listened a lot. Rupinder, quick last word from you as a veteran sports journalist of 40 well, years. All I have to say is uh, when there is a sport event, let's get some balance into it and talk about the preparation of the sportsmen and the women. They are working hard. They have done their bit. Nothing much has been spent on them. And I hope some more money goes towards preparing, goes towards planning. And uh, some brains are involved in the preparation right. of the sports other yeah. than cricket. Even in cricket, there's lots and lots of money. But uh, no uh, thought is given towards the cricketers preparing, towards yeah. their physical fitness, towards the science behind the sport. Right. And that's what all sports oh, yes. should we, be about. We Commonwealth have... Games will follow, will yeah. contribute, everything will contribute. But let's right. get our okay. basics now, right. Now I'm go let's educate <coughs> right. the children, the youth, and then take up sport first, at this magnificent level. But, of but, course, but, now the Games are coming to the country, yeah. and we should try and concentrate on the sportsmen Let's, and the woman, but and let's find Mr. Ashish Patel about Let, the capabilities yeah. of our states and women. They okay, may not win medals, okay. but they will set barriers, okay. and that's what okay. all sports and all human endeavor is about. Right. There are right. lots and lots right. of I'll sporting have to, stories going around. Yeah. Let's Ma forget R uh, the organizers. Let's concentrate on the sportsmen I, and bring some balance. Right. It's not all about money or no. It's all about dedication I, and sport. And there's enough of it the, also going around. I, I agree with Jayanti when she makes the point that I'm going to uh, have to we need not Rupinder, worry about only one Rupinder, aspect. Rupinder, I, I, so I agree with all the good things you are saying. See the positive but, but, but I'm going to be cynical tonight and say just one thing. As of now tonight, there's a lot of people we need to answer a lot. It looks like this is the only thing which is common is wealth. Navika, that's a fantastic investigation that you have done. Now, people need to follow Excellent. it up in the government and find out what really the truth is. From Navika in London, Sohail, Mr. Goel and Rupinder Pradeep magazine in Delhi. Thank you very much. We want the truth to come out sooner than later. And thank you so much for following the news out tonight. I will see you soon. Good night and goodbye.